Hello, my dear ones, in another material on our channel. In today's analysis, we will focus, my dear ones, on the weather breakdown that is coming to us. This weather breakdown is practically certain. The situation is very dangerous, especially for Central Europe. But it may also show signs here, primarily with very strong gusts of wind. At the very beginning, we need to take a look at the current satellite images here from 1140 on Sunday. And what do we see here? We see atmospheric fronts. We see an atmospheric front here, among others, over Poland, a cold atmospheric front associated with the Paulin Low, the Paulin Low, which is far, far up north and does not concern us much at this moment. We are interested in the area located here. It is here in this area that a new low should already be forming at this moment. This low will be definitely more dangerous for us as it deepens very quickly and will move in our direction, bringing very strong gusts of wind and a severe weather breakdown at the beginning of next week. And I will be discussing this with you today in this episode. I warmly invite all of you. And first, let's go back here to the Atlantic Ocean. And to the situation that is happening here, as I mentioned earlier, a new low is forming in this place. This low is very important for us, as I mentioned. Even looking here at the temperatures, we can already notice some outlines of this low which are very visible. A warm atmospheric front is already forming, and a cold atmospheric front is also visible. For now, we simply see this based on the air temperature imagery. We see that here in this place, the temperatures are definitely higher than here and here, so we are getting closer to the berth. At the moment when you will be watching this situation here over the Atlantic Ocean, this low will probably already be present. So we are now moving on to the calculations, and let's check how these latest calculations look. Let's start from Monday from 6 p.m. Sorry, from 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. it will already start happening. As I mentioned, this low will be approaching the British Isles. It is already becoming more visible here, and let's mark it here. We have this low right here. This low will, of course, head towards Poland, among other places. However, it will still be quite far away. It is worth noting. The flow of air here, which will indeed be reaching us, because primarily cooler air associated with Northern Europe will be coming to us, as that cooler air will be drawn in from the north. Let's mark it with a thicker line so we have the flow of cold air masses. I will also mark the second low, namely this low pollen, which is also affecting the weather, not in Poland. On the other hand, we have the inflow of warmer air masses. These warmer air masses will be directed from here, from the south towards the north, and everything will start to unfold in Europe, primarily in the west, but also partly in Central Europe. So, keeping that in mind, let's move on to the next one. We move on to the next map, and on the next map we focus on Tuesday. We choose the icon model because today we are primarily discussing what we see here. We see this low with very low pressure. 979 hectopascals. This low will be located over western Germany, rapidly deepening and moving further towards Poland. We see here that in northwestern Poland the pressure will start to drop significantly, while in eastern Poland not necessarily yet. That situation will be... From this perspective it is better. As for temperatures we will initially have the arrival of a warm atmospheric front and I will show you that here of course. Regarding this atmospheric front, indeed the warm atmospheric front, uh, will come before the arrival of this low. This warm atmospheric front should enter southwestern Poland first, while before it, of course, the cold atmospheric front will follow. This cold front will be moving here from over. Cooler air will start flowing from the north of the North Sea, while warmer air will still be coming to us from the south, which is very important. We will, of course, have stronger wind gusts here. These strong gusts will begin on Tuesday in the afternoon hours. However, the most dangerous situation will, of course, be the next day and during the night from Tuesday to Wednesday. As for the wind gusts, as I mentioned, the strongest wind gusts 
will not yet be in Poland on Tuesday. They will primarily be in Germany, with gusts of 80-90 km per hour and over 100 km per hour on the coast, on the North Sea coast, which includes Belgium, the Netherlands, and also northwestern Germany. In Poland, it will start to blow stronger on Tuesday in the afternoon in the southern part of Poland, in the southwest. There, it will blow the strongest at the moment, up to 80 or 90 km per hour. In the remaining area, it seems that it should still be relatively okay here. Let's move on to the next timestamp, which is 10 p.m. on Tuesday, so we are already in the night hours, and this low pressure, deepening further, will be approaching Poland. The pressure is 969 HPA. This is very low pressure in northwestern Poland, and we will also feel a drop in this pressure. However, in the southeastern outskirts, we will have 1008 HPA, so definitely E higher pressure. The difference is 975, 1008 HPA, so the difference in these pressures is very large, almost 30 HPA, so we can say that there is a very strong difference in these pressures. We will now move on to the situation, how the weather fronts will be shaped. We see that the warm atmospheric front will be moving very quickly northward. So it will already be located somewhere over the Baltic Sea, while the cold atmospheric front will be entering northwestern Poland. Cooler air will be arriving from the west. This cooler air, definitely cooler air, will be entering southwestern Poland, but on the other hand, western Poland will have very high temperatures, around 8 to 9 degrees Celsius during the night hours, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Of course, it will not be without very strong gusts of wind as it always is. That at the moment when we have such a sudden temporary influx of warm air mass, it is likely due to such lows. And here, on this cold atmospheric front, there will be very strong wind gusts of up to 80 or 90 km per hour, according to the ICON model. In the south, at the southern edges, it will also be very windy, up to 120 km per hour on the coast, 70 to 80 in these calculations, but this is still the situation before the main passage of this low. I am returning to Poland once again, and we move on to the next map. Of course, here is also the wind direction, because I didn't tell you regarding the wind direction, the wind will blow from the south towards the north. But at the moment the cold atmospheric front enters, the direction will start to change from north to Pike west. This is also crucial information for you, and I will move on. Next, 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 the next introduction is Wednesday. Morning hours, we see that the low will continue to move over, over the Baltic Sea, although we notice that it will be moving more slowly. And here we have 962 HPA, so it is expected to move very slowly over the entrance of the Baltic Sea. And uh, again, northwestern Poland with very low pressure, southeastern with a pressure of 995 HPA, and of course, atmospheric fronts will also move slowly. I mean slowly, the atmospheric fronts will rather move quickly further eastward. We see a warm atmospheric front, a cold atmospheric front. The warm atmospheric front is already practically beyond our borders. The cold atmospheric front here will separate western Poland from eastern Poland. We can see that this very cold air will quickly be moving into Poland, while the warm air will also be rapidly displaced north towards the Baltic Sea. And the wind gusts, in the case of the ICON model, can reach up to 150 km per hour on the coast. This is one of the scenarios. I will record the scenarios in a separate episode. For now, we are checking the ICON model here. Up to 150 km per hour is very strong wind gusts, but on the other hand, we see that northwestern Poland has weaker gusts, ranging from 60 to 80 km per hour. So here the emphasis is rather on the Baltic Sea. We see some discrepancies in other models as well. We see discrepancies in the ECMWF model, which shows the arrival of a wave of strong wind gusts from the west towards the east on Wednesday. This would likely cover almost all of Poland, 
We see the GFS model, which also predicts a scenario of strong wind gusts passing through almost the entire country. However, for now, I have primarily checked the ICON model. We will address other models in the next material. Thank you very much and see you soon. Best regards.